hello guys welcome to my channel dentistry please click the red button which is written as subscribe and you have to click on the subscribe button now it, there's a bell icon and you need to click on that for notifications so today i will be talking about the mnemonics for gastrointestinal drugs so under the heading gastrointestinal drugs number one we have drugs which are reducing gastric acid secretions these drugs are specially for reducing gastric acid secretion so we have number one under the under number one we have a that is h2 receptor antagonist so here what you will see is that there is dine 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 wherever there is dine it is h2 receptor antagonist so for this mnemonics for h2 receptor antagonist mnemonics you have to know the mechanism of action so let's get to the mechanism of action so the mechanism of action is for H2 receptor antagonist is they inhibit the H2 receptor interactions with histamine in the parietal cells of stomach. This H2 receptor antagonist they will inhibit the H2 receptor interactions in the parietal cells of stomach. So what you have to emphasize here is the word stomach. So what does the stomach does in our body? So the stomach usually mainly it is to store what we eat so it is also known as dine so therefore whenever you think about h2 receptor antagonist remember that the drugs mechanism is happening in happening in the stomach for gastric uh, to reduce the gastric acid secretions by inhibiting the interactions with histamine so stomach is also to store what we eat and then dine so here h2 receptor antagonist you will have dine 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 like you can see what is it is written like cimetidine, famotidine, everywhere there is dine. Now we will come to proton pump inhibitors, B, proton pump inhibitors. So we have omeprazole, pentoprazole, rabeprazole and lensoprazole. For this, what you have to do is, remember that when you are a pro, you are always filled with praises and you are always jolly. So definitely if you are a pro, if you are very good in anything if you are above excellent if you are a pro in something so people will always praise you and you will always feel jolly so just remember these praises and jolly pro proton pump inhibitors you will have praises and lo you will always be jolly when you are a pro so take the pra from praises and jolly you can just remember it as zol now pra now here pra plus zol it is prazole so for proton pump inhibitors you can have prazole there will be prazole everywhere omeprazole pentoprazole rabeprazole and lensoprazole so you can see here the mnemonics this is exactly what i wanted to tell you people and now you have prostaglandin analogs i think this is quite easy they are also under drugs reducing gastric acid secretion so in the prostaglandin analogs you have prost Wherever it is a prost prost prostaglandin analogs, you will have like PROST, which is written in blue color in C. So you have PROST in misoprostol. You have PROST in N prostol also. Now for ulcer healing agent, number two. And number three, you have ulcer protective agents. So number two, ulcer healing in number two there is healing and number three it is protective so it is quite confusing for healing and protective so healing is something the ulcer has already occurred but protective is something you are protecting before the ulcer has occurred so ulcer healing agent and ulcer protective how to remember this mnemonics for ulcer healing agent you can see the mnemonics as heal what does heal means so in english what well, definitely we all know that heal means to cure so in the same same way in order to get cure you need to cure for for somebody if you want them to heal from disease so cure and car c-a-r and c-u-r-a heal means to cure so cure and car c-a-r here you can see in number two ulcer healing agent you can see carbenozolone sodium so healing cure cure car car carbenozolone and for ulcer protective agents number three you can see here that protect means to save to save somebody if you if you are protecting that somebody that means you are to keep safe 
from something so s for safe and s for sucral fat so you can use this mnemonics here like ulcer protective agents whenever you uh, see like if you forget for ulcer protective agent you can just look at the word protective and you can think that it is for safety so you can use sucral fat now number four we have anti-acids in anti-acids you have various kinds of anti-acids like you have systemic anti-acid you have non-systemic anti-acids systemic and non-systemic anti-acids you have so for systemic anti-acids it's quite it's quite easy systemic s for systemic s for sodium s for sodium so under systemic anti-acid you have sodium bicarbonate sodium citrate okay now we will go to non-systemic anti-acids under the non-systemic anti-acids you have this magnesium carbonate magnesium trisilicate magnesium hydroxide magnesium phosphate aluminium hydroxide gel calcium carbonate i have read out once now i'll tell you the mnemonics for non-systemic anti-acids so what is there is he it is uh, like what is very confusing here is that not all type of magnesium are classified as non-systemic anti-acid for example magnesium sulfate is not a non-systemic anti-acid so how to remember that you can remember this by a mnemonic that is car trip to himachal pradesh car trip to himachal pradesh alu paratha that means you had alu paratha on the way and obviously you are going to himachal pradesh that means you'll feel cold just remember this car trip to himachal pradesh alu paratha and cold so here you can see in magnesium under magnesium you can see car trip to himachal pradesh so for carbonate you have car written in green color and tri silicate tri car trip to himach hp that is himachal pradesh and alu 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 parada that means you had alu on the way how can you remember which type of aluminium is this aluminium hydroxide hydroxide is we all know like you can just imagine as like the uh, water is made up of hydrogen plus h2 water so you can just remember hydroxide gel you obviously definitely you have water on the journey so alu parata and water aluminium and uh, you feel coal and uh, here i have already told that coal can also be uh, it sounds like the pronunciation of cal so coal and cal so you can just remember this as calcium carbonate and now you have anti helicobacter pylori remember that among the bacteria the most common one which is causing uh, like uh, risk factors for gastric malignancies is anti helicobacter pylori you can see in number 5 and for this it's quite easy you can have the mnemonic ct mat it is written in red color ct mat so any mat which is in a ct so city met it's like claritomycin, tinidazole, metronidazole, amoxicillin, tetracycline and all. And but here the most commonly used drug for anti-helicobacter pylori is amoxicillin. Remember that amoxicillin is the most commonly used drug for anti-helicobacter pylori. And rest you have miscellaneous like alginates and simeticon. Just commit this to memory. Thank you for watching my video. Please do like and please share and please leave a comment. Thank you guys.